Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through observation mode in Google Ads audiences versus targeting mode inside Google Ads audiences. I'm going to go over what they are and what the difference is and how you can use them inside your account. So to start off, how do we actually get to our audience tab to actually adjust these two settings and understand what they are? So what we have to do is actually click on one of our campaigns here. So for this one, I'm going to click on pool installation, and then I'm going to come over here to audiences, click on it. And as you can see, our audience tab pops up. Now, where we actually access observation mode and targeting mode is in the edit audience segments button. So we click on this. I prefer editing it at a campaign level. I find it much easier and it saves a whole bunch of time as opposed to the ad group level where you're having to constantly check on every single ad group. I find a campaign level is much more manageable and I prefer managing audiences at a campaign level because of that. So we're gonna click on audiences. And now, as you can see, we have two options. We have observation mode and targeting mode. What observation mode is, is essentially allowing Google to observe all of your audiences, gather data on them, but make no actual decisions based on them. So it's just gathering data. So when people click on your search ads, display ads, whatever campaign you're monitoring with these audience segments, Google is just going to observe this actual data. It's not going to make any decisions on that. If we place a bid adjustment in observation mode, like a five or 10% bid adjustment, Google will then make bid adjustments on this. But if we don't make any bid adjustments, Google is just left to observe and collect data. It's not gonna make any decisions based on these actual audience segments. So that's why at the beginning of every campaign, I suggest adding a whole bunch of audiences, gathering a whole bunch of data on them, and then making a decision in month two, three, four, on which audiences you really wanna pursue. Now, sometimes it makes sense to target audiences, especially if you have a ton of search volume. If you don't have all that much search volume, I recommend staying away from targeting. I would just go with the bid adjustment because targeting really narrows your actual reach of your campaign and the actual search volume you're gonna get. However, if you have an audience segment that is doing absolutely phenomenal, it has tons of impressions, you have tons of search volume and you're happy just to target it, all you have to do is just hit target and then hit save and now you've selected targeting mode. And this will make it so your ads only appear for the audiences you have currently selected. Now, if we wanna see all the audiences we have selected, all we have to do is hit show table down here and then you can see all the audiences we have selected. Now, say there is an audience we don't like. All we have to do is come over here to the green button, hit pause, and we will no longer show to that specific audience. However, if we're in observation mode, we can still possibly show to that audience because Google is just collecting the data. It's not doing anything with that data. However, if we're in targeting mode, we will stop showing to that specific audience. It's important to know the difference here. Now, if we're in targeting mode, we can actually make bid adjustments. So we can increase this, we can decrease this. So say this audience segment is doing really well. We could put a, you know, a plus five bid adjustment in here. We can change this. Uh, say the barbecue and grills audience segment is not doing well. We could decrease this by 5%. And all you have to do is just click on the little pencil icon right here. The same holds true for observation mode. And I really like observation mode, letting it run for a couple of months and then making slight bit adjustments. I recommend making anywhere from five to 10% bit adjustments. I don't recommend much more than that, maybe 15%, but if you go over 15%, Google as a principle does not like big adjustments and it takes some time to get used to it. So I'd recommend sticking to five to 10%, checking it week over week and making sure everything holds true. So then when you actually want to adjust other segments, you can. Now for an overall game plan of targeting and observation mode, I would leave it in observation mode for the first couple months add as many relevant audience segments as you can, therefore you can collect all the data on it. And then later on, either adjust your bid adjustments just in the actual observation mode or set it to targeting and only actually target those specific audiences. Normally we just leave it in observation mode. However, certain campaigns, you can get away with just targeting certain audience segments just because they're so good. Now a word from today's sponsor. If you're looking to build campaigns lightning fast, you have to check out our Google Ads Automatic Campaign Builder. It's absolutely awesome. It allows you to build campaigns in less than 15 minutes. It comes with headlines, descriptions, everything you need to plug and play to get your campaign built as soon as possible. And really, if you're building more than one campaign and you want to build campaigns really quickly and you're, you don't want to actually copy and paste everything out because it takes so much time, this is the tool for you. We use it for every single one of our campaigns we build out, and it really saves us a whole bunch of time just because it allows us to really automate the process. So if you're interested in this tool and building out campaigns really quickly, the link is down below. Now, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about observation mode or targeting mode or anything regarding Google Ads, leave a comment down below. Also check out our Discord server. The link is down below as well in our little Linktree link. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.